Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with my design team layout for the Flare Hut for January. And this month's theme is Sparkle and Shine. And what Adam is challenging us to do is to create a cover page with no pictures, um, just a cover page for our album or for a month, whatever it is. And so that is what I'm going to do. I've decided to make a cover page for my 2017 album, which is what I'm working on now. And so these are the flare that were in my uh, design team inspiration pouch. Uh, they are the epoxy, so they're not the full um, flare. They're a little bit more flat, which worked perfectly. And I have colors, Distress Oxides by Tim Holtz, to go with each of them. And then with my Cricut and a stack of scraps, I have cut out a bunch of circles. Um, typically there's four in every color. I use scraps for all of it. Some of them are patterns, some of them are not. Um, some have some texture to them. S some of them are thin paper, some are cardstock, whatever was in my scrap bin. And going along the lines of the circular theme, since I have circular flare and circles cut out, I am going to use this um, stencil that Lisa made for the flare hut and so um, it has different patterns um, as well um, in circles and so I want to use that to add these inks to my layout as well as those circles and things and here's all the scraps just in case I need them for anything um, I will throw away anything that is too small but um, the rest of it I'll end up cutting and doing you know putting them back in my drawer but that's okay um, so I'm going to use a solid 12 by 12 white sheet of paper. I felt like the colors would stand out the best on solid white. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And then I may bring in some embellishments. So I have my paper, my inks, my flare, and my stencil. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so for the first color, of course, I'm going to do it in rainbow fashion. And I just pick the first circle that I that grabbed my attention and start from there. And I'm going to do four circles um, straight across the top and use different patterns. And I try really hard, and I'm looking at it now. I'm pretty sure I did pretty good not to touch... Um, the same pattern so even the pattern below that I create with the next color um, will not be the same so the second layer I move in a little bit and so the first color I used was candied apple this one is worn lipstick uh, the orange color I use is spiced marmalade the yellow is fossilized amber the green is twisted citron the blue is broken china and the purple is shaded lilac um, the only other purple I have in an ink pad is either really, really dark, um, which I guess I could have used, uh, was Villainous Potion. And then I also have the Crushed Grapes or Concord Grapes or, um, and then, so I get all of those down. And like I said, I just alternated and sometimes I would turn the stencil so that the jagged lines wouldn't be going the same direction. And I felt like that would give it a little extra pizzazz and I love the way that turned out I could do a whole page that way because I think it's such a fun layout and I may do that um, I love rainbow patterns um, all the colors make me happy so I am now going to just randomly put down these circles um, some of these colors I have an extra one because I did one extra line and I do end up adding them all to the layout so I am just alternating back and forth with the different sizes, different patterns, and putting them down, just continuing that circle, um, and go all the way down the page. And now I have that strip at the bottom that's white, and I wasn't sure at first what I was going to do with that space. I was kind of thinking that I would trim my page down and then mat it and then I changed my mind about that although I could have done that and matted it in black that would have made all of these colors pop even more but that's okay because I do love the way that this turns out and I am going to go when I'm done and trim all of those circles that are hanging off the edge 
Um, so I just, I don't want it to be fully covered. I'm fine with the white peeking through in between where the circles curve, but I don't want there to be a big gap anywhere. So I do put it all the way to the side. And once I trim off the hangover, uh, you'll still be able to see a little bit of white here, there, and the other. And I am perfectly fine with that. Um, I do move this pink one because this, um, because I pushed those in the pink, the yellow and the blue, I put circles over there to kind of make everything continue throughout. And I love the way this looks. So I ended up pulling out colorful, which is a set of thickers and decided I would title this the good life. Or I mean the good stuff. And, um, so I, right now I'm just going to tuck in where I want to put my epoxy flare. I originally thought I'd kind of put them anywhere and then I decided I never tuck my, my flare because it's a little harder. It gives you too much dimension sometimes. Um, but with these epoxy, they are so fun to tuck in. So I thought I would tuck those into some of the circles and add a little bit more dimension. And, um, I just kind of scatter them down and, um, different places. So none of them are like lined right up necessarily. And I will go in later off camera and glue those down. So what I decided I was going to do is I was going to make like a splattering down here at the bottom. I thought about tapping and doing that, but then I decided I'd do the smush technique. So I take a pack, a piece of packaging where I've emptied out all the stickers and I, first of all, I should have cut that down. It's too hard to maintain, which is why I made a big old mess. Uh, but that's okay. Luckily, the mess did not make it onto my layout. It was on my desk, which I cleaned up. And when I was done, I used my watercolor pen and tapped the excess on to where the circles up at the top are. So it adds a little bit of water and a little bit more color in the white spaces. And I just did that all the way down and then on each of the circled um, patterns that I stenciled in up at the top, I just tap out with that. And then I pull out the good stuff and I'm gonna put that down here at the bottom, kind of trying to cover a little bit of that gap in between the purple and the smush technique. I love how that turned out. I would do a whole layout just like that too. <laughs> Like I said, I love the rainbows and the colors. They make me happy. So after I get done putting the title on, I decide I'm going to pull some of these smaller embellishments off, like the hearts and a couple of the plus signs and some arrows, and do those in their um, monochrome where they, you know, like the red heart on the red circles. Um, and I'm not necessarily tucking them. I'm just kind of putting them in different places and I don't want them all right next to each other. So I kind of scatter them in different, um, you know, like uh, one to the right, one to the left, one in the middle kind of thing. So I get the title down and then I'm gonna pull that little red heart up there at the top off and um, add that to the red. Just trying to figure out the best place because I want it to be visible but not necessarily in your face. So um, I, put some of them on uh, papers that are very similar in color and I'm okay with that um, and then some of them are in like a darker color with a lighter shade of paper so it stands out a little bit more and then after I get these little plus signs down I really do want something in that bottom right corner like an arrow pointing to um, the side because this is going to be the cover page of my book and the good stuff is going to be inside that scrapbook. And so I, the funny thing is, and the reason I ended up choosing this or why this kind of um, pulled me is because 2017 is what I'm working on right now. And every month is going to have a cover page that will have pictures. And every month I'll have a cover page that I create with the good stuff by Simple Stories. So I thought that was kind of um, fitting, even though it doesn't necessarily say that. Um, on the layouts. I think some of them actually do. So that'll be um, kind of like fitting throughout the entire year. Every month will have um, that collection. And so I thought that was good. And then after the, I turned off the camera, I realized I should have added the date. So um, underneath where it says the good stuff right there in that little orange gap at the bottom, I put it with some um, 
Mondo Llama foam I put um, 2017 and so that is it I hope that you all will go check out the flare hut um, there are all sorts of fun adventurous fabulous things that you can purchase to use on your layouts your cards your journaling um, you know whatever it is that you create and um i adore using these epoxy they are so much fun so um i hope you will go check that out i hope you'll come back and see me again really soon use up your scraps my friends please don't waste and have a fantastic day and happy scrapping <music>